I'm Judy. My name is Rich. Riley is three years old. She just turned three. She was born on April Fool's Day, 2018. So that was a unique story. Everyone thought we were joking. There was no issues whatsoever. I would constantly text Rich saying, is she sitting it? Is she grabbing it? Is just she... being a mom. The message would always come and say, no, not yet. One day, Rich did see her eyes rolled up. And a little bit of tongue thrust, and tensing of muscles. So I'd see her kind of just tense up. She was doing it every three days. I tracked everything. I tracked the time. I tracked her food. I tracked when she went to the bathroom. Went, yeah, I tracked her sleep, and I tracked all of the spell. spell. Finally, it was that day where we just had to rush to the ER because she kept doing it, and we thought it was epilepsy. So we rushed over to the ER. And in the rain. In the rain, yeah. <laughs> so we remember that at night, and they uh, gave her a. Um, Form of like um, diazepam, yeah. you know, stops the seizure right then and there. And she would, they wouldn't let us take her home that night, so we went back home with just a baby stroller. First time we were separated from. Her. Yeah, so she had to stay in the ICU for two, three nights. Yeah. And That's they continued to say it was epilepsy. Yeah. So yeah. we gave her phenobarbital. That was the worst. And she was just basically sleeping all the time because yeah. she was having that medication. She, they had to observe her. They're like, you need to admit her, and so they let's have this rainbow had on her and she's got to be under with the camera because they want to see it they want to see it happen so we we put her in this helmet and one of the good things was you know I remember it's the, called EEG yeah the EEG the technician there was like hey we got it because she did it we finally yeah, got it she was so EEG. happy but she's like nothing is wrong with her brain waves are fine it's fine the, the brain is intact so whatever this like, is not the brain oh there was a little <laughs> brain thing yeah uh, but then we, we switched doctors and um then they were saying it was dystonia L dopa didn't do anything. This other medicine put her to sleep, so we were we didn't listen to the doctor. We were, we already knew the phenobarbital story, so we got rid of that. So now we're on our own, and again, one night I get a text message from my brother saying, um, "This article's about this child who has ADC. All the symptoms Riley has: she, uh, dystonia, OGC, hypotonia. She can't sit up. She's limp." And, and it was Christmas there. Eve, we were there, sitting out the outside the doctor's office. So we walk in and he just looks at her and he's like, yep, she has it, but we still need to run the test. Run the test. My heart just, I don't know how I felt at the time, I just thought it was over. And before I even asked anything, I was like, is she going to be able to walk one day? And he said, he pro she probably won't live past two years old. <laughs>